We're at Lake Dardanelle. We're about to fish the AFCO Open. Pass are feeding on Chad right now, and uh, we're pretty confident in our game plan. It's time for the second stop of the season out on the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series. Hundreds of anglers from all across the nation have made their way to Russellville, Arkansas, and Lake Dardanelle to compete in the 2020 AFCO Collegiate Bass Open. There's one. There we go. That'll keep. Oh, keeper though. <laughs> That'll work. Number one. Double points are on the line in the race for the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia, and tens of thousands of dollars in prizes and contingencies are up for grabs. With the bite heating up on Lake Dardanelle as fish begin their fall feeding frenzy, there's a strong chance that a giant bag of fish can and will be caught. 1990, y'all give my hand. Who will put together a quality two days of fishing and win the Aftco Collegiate Bass Open? Find out next. Y'all put your hands together, new leaders. Big Stewie! New Big Bass of the Tournament Month. There's your chances right there, folks. The 2020-2021 season of the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series is off to a hot start this fall. Coming off a successful event at Kentucky Lake just last month, the schedule now brings us to Lake Dardanelle in Russellville, Arkansas for the AFCO Collegiate Bass Open. We're at Lake Dardanelle at the Open in Arkansas. Uh, we're sitting in second for school of the year right now. We're going out today, it's day one. See if we can uh, put five good ones in the boat. The AFCO Collegiate Bass Open is the second double points event of the season in the chase for the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. Each school's top two teams inside the top 100 of the overall standings at this weekend's events will earn points. That provides many schools with a good chance of surging way up in the standings and bolstering their team's ranking. We got these uh, yellow buffs from Collegiate Bass for being ranked number one in school of the year. Real proud of the boys here at Murray and all the hard work we've done all year long. Yes, sir. Got to keep it up. It's number one. Murray State enters this event in first place for the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. Murray State will be sporting those aforementioned buff yellow jerseys while out on the water this week to highlight their ranking as the top team in the nation. Following a win at the Bass Pro Shop's Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley last month, Murray is riding a huge wave of momentum entering this weekend. It's a pretty cool deal. Uh... Good points going to this event, so this is a big event, you know, it being double points and all, and so it's crucial that we do well here so we can maintain our lead and move on to the next one. It's a, it's a grind, I mean, there's so many good college teams out there and they're all chasing us down, you know how that goes. Yeah, that's tough, but Murray State's worked really hard for it this year. We've got a lot of seniors that are about to graduate. and. You know, we want to make it happen for them, and they want to make it happen, and everything. Absolutely. Been always close. Yeah. Always close. It's like past six out of seven years, we're just top five or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thirteen of the top 15 ranked teams are competing at Lake Dardanelle the next two days. Roughly 1,500 points separate first from 10, leaving the door wide open for numerous schools to make a big surge up the standings. We're sitting in fourth right now for school of the year. Um, not where we want to be. We really need this tournament, big points, hoping to move up. We definitely got to catch some more fish to do that though. Uh, we're sitting in third right now for school of the year. We finished second last year. I don't know, we're just trying to fish as many tournaments as we can. I think we got about eight boats up here, so hopefully one or two of us out of the, uh, out of the eight can Finish up there in about the top 10 and get us a lot of, a lot of points for this tournament. Can you take the trolling motor? Yeah, that's a good spot. God, I'm gonna get my rod.
Whack my partner with the spotted bass. There's number one. Check them just in case. Oh, wait, they only have to be 14. Just got that spot off this little rock point right here. We're flipping wood and he just got bit and this one grabbed it and started swimming at 100 miles an hour to the left. Number one. Up next on this episode of the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series, we bring you weigh-in coverage from day one of the Aftco Collegiate Bass Open. But first, as we head to break, learn about one of the many great products from Aftco, the Aftco Reaper Hoodie. And let me tell you, being from Florida, I'm cold anytime it's under 50 degrees. So whenever we have early spring tournaments up north, I'm freezing. This hoodie is the warmest hoodie that I've ever put on, and it's, it has the fishermen in mind. So when you're fishing, and it's cold, you go to get up and run, it's got a built-in face mask. So you just put it over, right out, no problem. I'm wearing the black one here. They've got two camos, a gray and a green for all the hunters out there. Make sure you check them out at AFCO.com. The great beyond, the great below, the mystery of the unseen and the unknown. With a rod and a reel, and the spirit of adventure that hangs in the salty air. To find and to fight. It's with that spirit that we design our product at Worldwide Sportsman. It's up to you to put it to the test. When there's miles of water in front of you, and hundreds of feet below, you need a boat with the chops to dominate no matter the conditions. With the strength and technology to overcome the elements and the competition. Ranger Boats, still building legends, one at a time. Stetson Blaylock! Todd Otten! Hank Terry, let's go! Garmin live scope, I tell you right now, if you don't have it, you are behind. It's just wild. It's like a video game. If you do not have that Garmin live scope, you are definitely missing out. Bassmaster Classic Champion! The Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Ranger Boats. Still building legends one at a time. And by Garmin. Fight your fish, not your fish finder. Welcome to Russellville, Arkansas. We're in central Arkansas at Lake Dardanelle State Park. The 2020 AFCO Collegiate Bass Open is being contested on Lake Dardanelle in Russellville, Arkansas with weigh-ins and takeoff happening at Lake Dardanelle State Park. This 34,000 acre lake located on the Arkansas River system provides a beautiful backdrop for the second stop of the season out on the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series. Russellville, the town, it's a beautiful place as you can see. The weather's perfect this weekend. We kind of try to like to make it that way, but full of lake, full of fishing, full of outdoor activities. You can see behind me a beautiful Mount Nebo. We have four state parks within a 30 mile radius. We love the outdoors here. Central Arkansas is an outdoor enthusiast's paradise, offering plenty of adventures and great fishing opportunities. The Association of Collegiate Anglers has been contesting premier no entry fee tournaments on Lake Dardanelle and Russellville for nearly a decade now. Year after year, the lake produces great stringers of bass and hundreds of collegiate anglers from all four corners of the country eagerly flock to the area to compete on this storied fishery. Oh, we love to see the anglers come into town and I, from what we hear, the anglers love to be here, so we love having them. 15, 26, 15, 26, 14, 98, almost 15 pounds. That is big bass of the day right there, 526. And Lake Dardanelle is showing out as anglers begin to cross the stage with their day's catch here at Lake Dardanelle State Park. We've now seen numerous bags eclipse the double digit mark and anglers who could find those three pound class fish are contending for the lead. This includes Harbor and Zach from number one ranked Murray State University who find themselves in the top 10 at the moment with 12.19 pounds. Uh, it was not bad. We 
Caught a few fish, uh, had a few missed opportunities, but hopefully we can capitalize them on them tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, we just went and had fun. We love this place. You can go and explore, and that's what we did. Uh, we went and found them shallow. We did our best to leave fish for tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, like he said, missed a couple bites, lost a couple fish, but uh, still happy with how it ended up. Next up to the stage are Cameron and Cole from Drury University. According to reports at the dock and out on the water, they appear poised to stake claim to the day one lead. This is going to be our first, hmm, I almost said 20 pounds, 1990. Y'all give him a hand. Y'all come up here a minute. The duo from 15th ranked Drury University brings in a five bass limit weighing 19.90 pounds here on the first day of tournament competition. That is good enough for first place and a commanding lead at the moment. Cameron and Cole lead the local pairing from Arkansas Tech by nearly five pounds. The bass were biting on Lake Dardanelle today. In this field of top collegiate anglers figured out how to get them in the boat. Hey man, we just really grinded out there. Like we just started back catching them about you know, 10.30 and just kind of dialed it in and uh, slowed down a little bit. And you know, it just kind of all came together. You know, we really just focused on how we caught that first good one. And it just happened to turn out that we caught five of the right ones, so. Day one of competition is in the books. Coming up after the break, we'll bring you day two coverage of the AFTCO Collegiate Bass Open on Lake Dardanelle and Russellville, Arkansas. Who will take home the title? Stay tuned to find out. Wanna talk about one of my favorite pants, the AFTCO Pack Pants. It comes in two different colors, black, khaki. It's got a lot of great features on it. It's got a pliers pocket here on the side. They're stain resistant, lightweight, stretchy. I use these pants a lot, just casually fishing on a cooler day, real comfortable, lightweight, but help you keep, keep you warm on those cooler mornings, the AFCO Pack Pan. Your time on the water is precious. You return season after season to make unforgettable memories. Fight a few fish, reconnect with friends, and recenter yourself. If you count on having this time, you need an outboard you can count on to power it. That's why boaters stay with Yamaha for the long run, for life. They know reliability starts here. Everybody knows somebody that just seems to have things go wrong around him. And for me, it's my good buddy Z when he heads to the water. It's like a black cloud follows this guy around. He runs out of gas, locks his keys in the car, or worse, has a flat tire coming to him from the water. But old Z's a pretty sharp guy. He relies on Boat US in those situations where something goes wrong. Boat US has the finest low-cost boat insurance and the largest fleet of towboats ready to assist you 24-7. Visit BoatUS.com. I got my power pole down. So still in the wind and the waves Could even be a hurricane I got my power pole down The fear of failure is failure itself world of science rewards the ones who are willing to try and fail because without the courage to embrace failure ideas remain ideas but with that courage to fail and to learn ideas can change the world the bass pro shops collegiate bass fishing series is brought to you by boat us we're with you on the water. Yamaha Marine, reliability starts here. AFCO, any fish, any water. And by Denali Rods, experience the Denali advantage. Welcome back out to Lake Dardanelle State Park for day two launch at the 2020 AFCO Collegiate Bass Open. The first day of tournament competition produced numerous quality bags. Camera crews will begin the day with the top two teams in the standings, each of which are eager to see what the day has in store for them. We're a few pounds back. We're in second with 15, right at 15 pounds. 
Um, 19's leading it. Um, I expect it to change up today. Hopefully we can do about the same or a little better than yesterday. And uh, I think if we can do that, then we'll have a pretty good shot at it. Oh, we're feeling a little anxious, but I feel like we got a reason to. So we're yeah. going to go out there and give it our best shot. And, uh, you know, it's just what happens, happens. And we can control what we can. And yeah, five pound lead makes us feel a little bit more comfortable, but at the same time, it's difficult to get bikes here. And so it's pretty nervous, you know, trying to just, you know, know that we need to catch a, a few, so. Every day can nervous. be different here. So. Yeah. Here's a quick glance at the leaderboard before we go out on the water. Cole Breeden and Cameron Smith from Drury University have a commanding lead as they weighed in nearly 20 pounds on day one. We join them now as they search for their first keeper. We'll feel a lot better when we have the first fish because, you know, bites are tough to come across, so I don't know. We feel, we feel fine because we didn't catch a fish till 11 o'clock yesterday. It just seems like they're easier to find when the sun comes up, so. I'm guessing that was the same one. He's 15. I think we'd be real happy with eight pounds today. <laughs> so. It could be enough. Yeah, I think eight pounds would be enough for us, so. Just a couple of those, couple little keepers. If we catch ones like that, if we just catch five, you know, ones that are not too big, but just barely keepers, it should be. Could be okay. What do I have? Big it. It's a good one. Dang on. Start somewhere. Put four in the boat so far, and one of them about two and a quarter. So hopefully, <laughs> they keep biting and they get bigger. That's a better one. Yes. Go. Yes. Number two. Not for us, baby. He ain't quite as big as I thought he was going to be, but. We've reached our final break in the show. On the other side, we wrap up our on the water coverage and go back to weigh in to crown a winner at the 2020 AFCO Collegiate Bass Open. Don't go away. Hey guys, Cliff Perch here with AFCO and as a, as a fisherman, one of the most important things I'm worried about as I get older is sun protection. And, and one of the places that you don't think of a lot is the top of your hands. It's always in the sun as you're fishing because you're holding that rod, you're reeling with your handle, it's always in the sun. And I've got these new Salago fishing gloves from AFCO and they're super light, super thin, so your hands stay cool. The fingers are cut off, so you know, tying knots, using line, you know, uh, rigging baits, it's all super easy, but I'm still getting that sun protection. From sun up to sun down, day in and day out, we work hard, we play hard, and to keep us going during those long hours, we demand performance. Angle Coolers, the original high performance cooler.
Tying a good knot is one of the most important things in determining your success on the water. It can be difficult to learn the best knots from a video of someone tying a knot. Sunline created detailed animations to help any angler learn that knot quickly. Each video goes through the top knots step by step, allowing you to easily follow along. You can quickly learn the top knots for nylon, fluorocarbon, braid, and connecting leaders. See all these knot animations at sunlineamerica.com. that we have is key and not only rods and reels and lines and baits but in our clothes and the guys at AFCO I mean, they have something for every situation. There's nothing AFCO hasn't thought about with the fishermen in mind. It's designed for fishermen by fishermen for every scenario you can come to. Any fish, any water, any condition, AFCO has you covered. Hey, three key rods that played a great deal in my success this year on the Bass Pro Tour Trail was the seven foot four multi-spin spinning rod in our lithium series. Another rod that I used a lot this year was our seven foot two Covart heavy action rod. Last but not least is our lithium 884 in heavy action. So check them out. Denali rods, I think you'll be happy with the success you receive from them. You know, when I look at the tournaments I've won, probably four or five of the boats that I've won have been on a tube. But I had completely gotten away from flipping a tube because nobody, nobody made one soft enough. Big Bite has come with this new tour series of baits. The thing that's probably the most unique is when you look at that bait, the salt just rolls out of it. And to me, that is the reason a fish bites a tube and hangs on to it. This isn't one of those, let's go out and catch some smallmouth tube. This is a let's get it done tube. The Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series is brought to you by Hydrowave, Ignite a Feeding Frenzy, Sunline America, the strength to guarantee your confidence, and by Rapala, hand tuned and tank tested. There we go. That'll keep, hopefully. God. It's been caught before. There might be more than one up there. Mason Wade and Davis Coleman enter today in third place. After weighing in over 14 and a half pounds on day one, they just landed their first keeper and are hooked up with a second fish now. What's up? Oh yeah, maybe. Ooh, that's gonna be close. Yeah, baby. Sir, <laughs> sir. Come on. Oh yeah, he's 15. Sweet. Good deal. The pressure's cranking up here on day two as time begins to run out for these anglers before they're due back for weigh-in. The top two contenders both remain optimistic though, knowing that the winning fish could bite in just a matter of seconds. Uh, no, I'm not gonna get worried yet, uh, for sure. Not on this lake. We may, we may pull up on spot and do what we did here yesterday. Here you can't get worried about it until it's over with, <laughs> pretty much. Because I mean, he could pull up on the spot and last five minutes and catch him. We just need one more fish, and we'd feel great about today. We only got two right now, but I mean, we didn't really expect to catch a whole lot today, honestly. I mean, neither, we, ne being here all week, we didn't expect to catch a whole lot. So 
don't know, just one more fish and we'd feel great. So we're gonna hit a couple more spots that we've caught a fish. Maybe a couple brush piles just to see if we can catch one. Oh, that's keeper. It's keeper though. <laughs> I thought when you set the hook, it looked a lot bigger than that. Number three. Yes, baby. Uh, pound and three quarters, maybe. Eleven sixty-four. That is going to put you at. 23.83, how about a 13.23, two day total, 24.65. Day two weigh-in is well underway back at Lake Dardanelle State Park. Baker and England from Arkansas Tech hold the lead at the moment, leaving Breeden and Smith from Drury University needing roughly five pounds to take the tournament victory. Did you enjoy the night being in the lead? No, you didn't, okay. 662, new leaders. All right, back in the lead. Cole Breeden and Cameron Smith from Drury University bring in just enough Lake Dardanelle bass to claim the win here at the 2020 AFCO Collegiate Bass Open. Today's bag, combined with their day one limit of nearly 20 pounds, gives Breeden and Smith a two day total of 26.52 pounds. The Drury University Anglers best second place by more than a pound and a half to notch their first major collegiate victory. After after we weighed in and overcame second place, I mean, our, we had six, 660 and that was a lot more than we thought we had, so. It's an amazing feeling when it happens because you know, like, you put in the time, you put in the work to do it, but then you just gotta know it's your day, like, just, just you gotta go out there and do but. it, so. Breeden and Smith earn upwards of $5,000 in prizes and contingencies for their victory this weekend. That includes claiming both the Ranger Cup and the Garmin Tournament rewards. To go along with the cash and prizes, they also earn 1,000 points for Drury University in the race for the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. Here's a look at the top 10 following this weekend at Lake Dardanelle. Murray State is able to hold on to first place, but several teams in the top five are closing in. Both Adrian College and the University of Montevallo are less than 250 points back of that top ranking. The AFTCO Collegiate Bass Open is the final event of the fall out on the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series. The 2020-2021 season is halfway complete, and the chase for Bass Pro Shops School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia is guaranteed to be one for the record books. Thank you for watching this episode. We'll see you out on the water when the spring season kicks off back at Kentucky Lake. This has been a Careco TV production. The lightest rod ever built. All new nano carbon technology. 25% more casting distance. Digitally controlled braking. Incredible sensitivity. Magnetically sealed components. Micro computer monitor more sensitive. Than tournament ever. tested. Step up your Ultra the fast only rod for your new That guy that's always bringing in big ones from offshore, he's got secret lures. That guy that can pull out a spinning rod and start catching them when you can't buy a bite, he's got secret lures. What about that guy that can follow you down the bank and catch what you left behind? He's got secret lures. Oh, ah, yeah, good one. If you're ready to be that guy, get your secret lures today at secretlures.com.
such a part of me. They don't fly so high. There's this much to see. You make me come alive. I never felt so free.